What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Road to the Final Herrera. He is the new SBC. I know this one is coming up a little bit late, but we had a few things we needed to do. We managed to get an Icon SBC done, so hopefully you did enjoy that. If you didn't or haven't seen it, go check it down below or go check it on, I'm assuming in a minute's time, it's going to come up on the little eye on the top cart on the top corner so make sure you click it like and subscribe let's get into herrera then so road to the final 134k for me it's far too expensive looking at him obviously he is an 85 rated sbc one in form i think it's one la liga and 70 chem for a card that necessarily is probably going to go up to an 86 87 maybe an 88 at a push I can't justify spending 130k on him. He really will not go up that much that consists to get him for that sort of value. Obviously, they could go further. They they could win it. There's always a chance. There's always the, the opportunity that potentially they may go further than anyone thinks. We saw the same with Gomez last year. Everyone wrote him off. And for whatever reason, they managed to go through. And then we did get, obviously, the unfortunate circumstance that we are currently in. And he managed to go up even more. Obviously, that is kind of like a little bit of a payday of anything. You're not really going to get that again. But there's this chance that he could go up. Will you still use him? Problem with him is Mexican links. Not really. There's far and few. A couple of decent lads, but nothing really too sustainable for kind of like team of the season worthy um, players. And then we look at the league. Again, cracking league, plenty of good players, but is he the man for you? There is plenty of midfielders out there. Just looking at a few, we've got Pogba, obviously Bruno, I think can play centre mid. You then got like the likes of a CDM who's like Kante. You then got someone like Witzel's flashback. There's already so many. I'm, I'm going to go and have a look at the end review and show you basically who I'm on about. But I just think there's too many centre mids for me to say this is a, a well worth card. But if we do look at the card and, and humour it a little bit, he is a four star weak foot with a three star skills. He is uh, right footed, six foot one, high high work rates. He's got relatively the good stats there. Maybe you'd want a bit of a four star skiller, but can't really always get what you want. 74 pace. Again, we can fix that with maybe an engine. 79 shooting, 81 defending. Pretty average behind both, but again, quite nice. We've got 86 physicality. That is actually his better stat. And then we've got passing at 80 and dribbling at 80. 79 composure. I think that definitely needs an upgrade. Will it go up by 5, 6, 7 with just two or three upgrades? Probably not. He's going to end up with about 83 to 84 composure. And that could be somewhat into the new year. I personally don't think that's enough for me to say this is 140k worth of a card but anyway let's look at some gameplay and see what he did so in terms of Herrera's gameplay then relatively average performance nothing really too tasty nothing too disastrous that I think meh, he's just really not going to work he is an, an okay player I don't think he's amazing and obviously links wise you've got to box him in Unless you've got someone like Jimenez, you've got Luis Hernandez, who obviously is an icon SBC, or Hugo Sanchez, who gets that kind of like perfect strong link, then really you're not going to use him. Maybe you get a few Atletico players that potentially could get a few nice upgrades. You can link him there with a strong link. I just don't see that happening anytime soon. It's going to have to be one of their kind of midfield or up front players. Maybe Marcus Lorente. Obviously, more than likely, a lot of people are using Mendy and Varane at centre-back, so you couldn't box him in with that kind of midfield. But is he really going to end up in a Futch Champs team? Probably not. I think, for me, he's just going to be that kind of mediocre guy that sits in your club. Eventually, he may hit 86, 87, and then eventually he goes into an SBC. It's pretty much the standard process with him. But with this one, he's far too expensive for what you want. I'd say, for me... He's an eight, a high 83, so like a 90 chem 83, or a really medium to low 84 rated squad. That that for me is is the, the max I'd pay for him. I'm looking probably, what, 70k, I'd say, 60 to 70k. And even then, I think that's relatively expensive. But if we're going with all the other SBCs we've got, I think he personally is just absolutely absurd in price. 85s at the moment are through the roof because of the base icon out. They should know that. I think they should kind of justify with where they're going and really put the prices 
to what that time is. He's not up for very long. So if we do look into kind of like his overall then, we've got 122k on the PlayStation, 135 on the Xbox. Obviously, they're kind of dipping in and down depending on what the market's saying. In terms of chemistry style, obviously people are looking at him more in a defensive aspect. They think shooting-wise, it's okay, but I think it's going to require so much more work. But if we do look at his physicals, honestly, not bad at all. 97 stamina, not really going to argue with that one bit. We've got decent strength, decent aggression. But if we're talking about his physicals, obviously we've got 97 stamina. Absolutely fantastic there. 81 strength, I think is more than good enough. Obviously, as we get more upgrades, it's going to get even better. And then we've got good aggression, 87. Again, I think that's pretty high up there in terms of what we actually expect he is only an 84 rated card so you've always got to remember what is he going to be like on an 85 and an 86 we will get more of a kind of a clue in to what sort of upgrades we're going to get during the first round because then obviously we're going to see a, a, a vast majority of cards being upgraded seeing if they're going by plus one plus two do they hand pick the stats what do they actually do to upgrade him? Do they think, oh, he's a center mid, so we're going to get more passing rather than dribbling? If he's a defensive mid, do we get no passing, more defending? It's going to be an interesting one to see how they upgrade them in terms of what stats. And that's what really could help with Herrera. I think this composure is the one that definitely needs a massive, massive upgrade. But I just don't see it happening where it gets to a point where I think this guy is a must in a team. In terms of the generation then, if we can just go here, he has relatively always been pretty average in terms of his cards on FIFA. We started with FIFA 13 with a silver, same with FIFA 14, common into team of the, I think, is that a team of the season? Team of the season, Liga Nos in, what was that, FIFA 15? No, 16. Then gold, gold, League SBC, we got a winter refresh, and then nothing. So it, it's kind of a card where I'm thinking, is he going to get much of an upgrade? Obviously, Atletico are the ones themselves to get him an upgrade. But I just think it's just meant to be that he doesn't get an upgrade. He's not had very little going forward um, in previous FIFAs. Will he get one or will he get a few in this one? We pretty much guaranteed one, I think. Then it all depends on the groups. They could get... They could get a Real Madrid next. They could get um, whoever that is going to beat them. Juventus. Um, I, w I would say Man U, but I, d I really don't want to jinx that at this point. They could get a Man City and they could lose. First round, done. You could get an 85 Herrera and that is it. That then makes the SBC far too expensive. And if we do look at the SBC just to kind of finish things off, it's just unreal to see... How out of touch people? How out of touch EA are with this? One in form, one La Liga, 85, 80 chem, so not even 70. I just think that's far too expensive. So in this one, we've got a position change, and again, it's not necessarily the rating of the cards because normally these are pretty low. But right now, with the base icon out as well, all of the packs have gone, or all of the upgrade packs have gone due to Black Friday finishing. These are so expensive right now. And obviously this was kind of like during, before, uh, just after rewards. So the market's already took a dip. We're now going into foot champs. Hopefully it does get cheaper tomorrow when we get more promo packs for team of the uh, group stage. But I still don't see that affecting the market massively. I feel like it's still going to keep it relatively high up there. Maybe there isn't no upgrade packs. Maybe there's nothing really to grind as we are finding, which is keeping the market just so out of balance. One moment it's really low, then the next minute it's just through the roof. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. I've personally given him a 6.5 out of 10. Um, I would have given him a 7, but I'm taking a half a point off for the SBC, I think. It's just a waste of time in my opinion. But like I say, like and subscribe. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.